Welcome back. The U.S. is continuing to get hit hard with extreme heat, especially in the south. But this summer's extreme heat is impacting more than just the mercury. Yeah, many are now having to make some dangerous choices to keep the air conditioning on. Casey Stegall has more details from Dallas. A little bit over $100. 387 I want to say. $400 this month. And they're not alone. Folks across the country are seeing utility bills jump by about 11% during this extreme heat. It's been pretty bad this year. Yeah, can't wait for it to end. By the time summer ends, the National Energy Assistance Directors Association estimates people in the Southwest will have paid the most, more than $700. The West Coast handing over the least amount of cash at just under 500 bucks. That's gonna harm people's budget. They're no longer gonna be able to buy other things that bring them more value and more joy. But this year's heat has been especially hard on certain groups. According to USA Today, there has been a 15% increase in utility shutoffs among low-income Americans. Federal data shows only 19 states in Washington, D.C. prevent these cuts during heat waves. The elderly also trying to deal with those rising costs. Advocacy groups say some seniors don't have enough money to spend and the extreme heat is forcing them to make tough decisions about what they buy. Seniors sometimes on a very fixed income have to decide, am I going to go buy groceries or get this medication or am I going to be able to pay for these household expenses? And still no relief in sight with forecasters expecting temperatures across the south to remain extremely high for the rest of this month. That's the latest from Dallas. Casey Stiegel, Fox News.